Welcome back guys to Golden Sun Dark Dawn as we solve the issues here in Kalima With the dream tree restored no longer trying to plague everyone with endless nightmares with that said the town has revived and hopefully we can make our way through Tret's forest now But I do know there was at least one thing to do that we could not When the nightmare was going Welcome welcome. I've got some fine dream leaves here. Can I tempt you? Sure, let's buy a dream leaf. Because, of course, we were mentioned about this before. Back in Border Town, a place where we can sleep and dream, and we thought it was a bit of a weird thing. So let's take that as red and see if we can get something from that bed. With that said, not trying to rhyme every time, let's speak to you, sir, and hopefully send you back to Belinsk. Now with the Angoa Prelude. Oh no, you want to, you want to see the rock, don't you? You want me to go back to Belinsk and rejoin the man? No, you're not ready yet. So where am I going to get this mountain rock from? And it's the question of itself as we head up the Kalima Forest. Hello! Are you going to lead me through now, are you? Okay. Not a problem. I'm glad you know the route. I wonder if I could have made it before if I knew the route beforehand. Or if you do have to wait. Oh, it's literally taking me straight to a house? Am I allowed to go in said house? Well, it looks like puzzles are abound. So we're not getting through this place simply. Hopefully we can make you ours as well, Mr. Jin Man. So that looks like just a way to fall down into. And of course, we now have also our crushed synergy, so we should head back in the Kalima Forest, really. Kalima Town, at least. Hmm. Because, of course, we could have crushed our way through to another chin. Gotta remember that. Now that we have it, we may as well actually use it. Let's get you all grown up. So was that actually going to allow me to be down into that area? I was wondering who was going to deposit me on the side a little bit. We got ourselves a potion. I can go to Karis, that's fine. Alright, I can't find a range in which I can use that from there, but I can just jump simply across. Looks like I'd have to go through once again to be able to get this done. Whatever's behind here. Well, this way's gonna let me up it pretty easily itself. Let's cast another growth and send that downwards. So that just allows me into that area. I guess that allows me back up and out, thinking about it. The only way I can go involves me going this way. Right, time to use our new synergy. Who did we put it on again? Yeah, it was you. Time to crush myself a block. Not so much crush as slam, really, is it? Right, so place to fall down to to hear from. Or was I not supposed to go this way? Oops. I've got lost. Let's fight these leaf bats. And hope for some howling. Or make them just really easy to take down anyway. That's fine. Got lost. Didn't mean to. I thought that was the only way to go. Weirdly enough. Right, so we have to follow this again. And you can make it. Go, jump. <laughs> Just go down. Oh, 
Alright. Let's uh, redo the mistake. Puzzle Forest. Well, I can't jump there, obviously. Unless I can jump there. Oh my goodness, I can jump there. Hey, you made it! I lower five coins! Hey, what's the matter, big fella? Looks like you got a fright. What do you expect when you just pull out of nowhere like that? Please, look what you'll home above it. Not much of a warrior, are you? Pewter, I've warned you about being polite to guests. My deepest apologies. You have not travelled all this way to listen to Pewter's nonsense. Hello. If I may introduce myself, I am Laurel, a guardian of this forest. You're a talking tree? <clears throat> I'm usually referred to as a holy tree. On my better day, is even a tree of wisdom. Astonishing. To meet a holy tree in the flesh? A tree of wisdom. We have legends of such in AFA. Are you familiar with the tale of the enlightened lark? Indeed I am. The lark in question perched my branches for a time on his path to understanding. I apologize for not res recognizing you, Elder Laurel. I am Amity. It's a great honor to meet you, Holy One. Flip flop. We're straight away into the bowing and prostrating. Psst. Amity, what are you doing? You're in the presence of an enlightened entity. Bow your heads! Did Amity just call the tree Holy One? Yeah, I think he did. Does he think Laurel is some sort of priest or god? Do please raise your head, Amity. I am no divinity. And the last thing I need is someone praying to me. I understand that to your relatively short lived species, the welder can seem godlike. Which is the tree species, obviously. These plant-based beings live for many human generations and gather immense knowledge over their long lives. Certain world of tribesmen, such as Tread and Laurel, have gained enough wisdom to be deified and known as enlightened trees. I also can see how, from your point of view, a talking plant would be... novel. I prefer to think of us as beings whose long lives allowed us to gather a share of the world's knowledge. I must respectfully disagree. The qualities you describe are the very essence of divinity. What part of I'm not a god do you not understand, fish brain? That's enough, Pewter. I apologize again for Pewter. I also must thank you for what you've done for the Dream Tree. If you had not intervened, I'm certain the Sludge would have destroyed it. Sludge, you mean the little lizard? This monster was born from the angry spirits of the creature's kill when the Golden Sun relocated Kalima Village. Its curse also the Dream Tree to produce nightmare causing leaves. Poor Sludge deserves some sympathy as well, though. His home was destroyed around him. Is that why you didn't fight it? You felt sorry for the lizard thing? Hey, if Laurel and the others had been healthy, Sludge wouldn't have stood a chance! Healthy? Is Laurel sick? Injured. Well, did take a while to heal. And Laurel still hurt from 30 years ago when the thing happened. The thing? You mean the Golden Sun? Yes, Pewter isn't one for details, but let us return to the matter at hand. Is there some way I can repay you? I'll take the gin, even though it's a bit sarky. Also, Manning Rock. Um, Matthew, do you think we can just ask a holy tree for the feather? Feather? Uh, yes, we came to Kalima looking for a feather from the mountain rock. What for, if I may ask? I, I sort of broke his saw wing, and Matthew's dad, Isaac, said we had to get a new feather for it. Did you say Isaac? What about Isaac? Is that Tret? Hey, Tret! Angry Tret. Ah, wake at last, Tret. Tret, is that you? Tret is ugly, so this is Tret. Another tree of wisdom. Yes, yes, I'm Tret. Who are all of you? These are the warriors who defeated Sludge. Sludge? I thought I subdued him some time ago. He recovered while you were resting, Tret. He was gnawing at Kalima again. He almost destroyed the dream tree when we intervened. Hmm. And why didn't you stop him, Laurel? I was occupied defending the rest of the forest from his influence. Of course. We're not what we once were. But we were talking about Isaac. What were you all going to tell me about him? Apparently, these young humans are the children of the Warriors of Vale. 
Or is it Vel? Is that what they're calling Isaac and Ivan and Mia and... Hey look, we haven't done Mia yet. Oh, we still haven't done Mia. And there was one more. Yeah, Garrett. Did you just forget about my dad? Hmm. Yes, Garrett. You're the firebrand, son, eh? What is your name? I'm Tyrrell. Hmm. Yes. I see Garrett in your aura. Let's see who I see in the rest of you. Yes, you're all adepts. Good. You do look like the Veil Warriors. Ah. You, you are Isaac's son. What is your name? That's my name. What was that? You'll have to speak up. I didn't catch your name. He's kind of quiet. His name is Matthew. And you are Ivan's daughter, hmm? Uh, yes. I... I am Karis. Looks like you've got a bit more spark than your father, and just as clever too. Two more of you. My name is Reef. You were great help to my mother. Is that so? I say it was the other way round. I'm Amity of AFA. It is a great honour to make your acquaintance. Hmm. Charmed, I'm sure. Another relative of Mia, right? Haha, <laughs> we could try again! This warrior of Vel travelled with Isaac. She is a water adept whose powers were inherited by her son, Reef. She is descended from the Mercury Clan, the keepers of the elemental lighthouse of the same name. What? Are you serious? He's travelling with us, but he's from AJ in the south. He's a prince of AFA Kingdom. So you're saying he's not related to your group? His aura says otherwise. Let's not get distracted by trivialities right now. Trivialities? That's not a trivial. But, but what's going on? Could this be? Hmm. Oh, I didn't give away any family secrets. Please forgive Tress's blunders. I keep having to apologize to you for the behavior of my companions. This is a topic best discussed amongst yourself, I think. Let us change the subject. Change the subject? Why? I believe we were discussing a feather of some sort. That's right, a feather from Mountain Rock. Yes, quite. Ah, I understand. We hope someone as wise as you can help us. Is that so? Unfortunate. What? What's unfortunate? It's the Mountain Rock. What's the problem? You want to show your thanks? We need a feather. Simple! No, simple is the one thing it's not, I'm afraid. You're a tree of wisdom! Don't you know everything? Is a feather really too much? Clearly there's something you haven't told us. Hmm, well... Out with it! We should tell them. It probably won't make a difference, but yes. The rock in question! The mountain rock is sleeping. Deeply. Very deeply. Such is the rock's slumber that extracting a feather as it sleeps is impossible. What's more, only a certain type of synergy can wake it. Yes, and it's a synergy that only naturally occurs among the beastmen. It's called slap. Sveta! A synergy! She has that synergy! Yes, that must be the synergy we need. You know an adept capable of slap? Not only Sveta, but she's currently in Balinsk, which is problematic. Is that the only way to awaken the mountain rock? Yes, but it's possible to use the Sap Glove instead of the natural ability. As I knew, the Sap Glove was located in Balinsk. It's one of the Fang tribe's great treasures. So that just brings you back where you were, doesn't it? Wait, didn't Briggs say that Tret might know something about Balint's castle and its defences? He might know something that'll help us rescue Eolio. Let's ask him! Ask me what now? Speak up! We need to rescue the pirate Eolio from Balint's castle before he's boiled alive! So you're asking us if there's a way to break into Balint's prison, is that right? Is that it? Well... Oh yeah! If you want to thank us, that would do the job kind of perfectly! 
I suppose we do owe you that, but the way will not be without risk. The city's energy was depleted some time ago, which will be a problem for you. You should first know that the front gate is essentially impossible to pass through discreetly. Yeah, we were hoping you know some other way. You assume a castle built on ancient ruins must have a secret entrance infested with traps and monsters? Well, yes. Well, you're right. This time. There's a hidden door, but it can't be used without being powered somehow. If you can bring power to the door, I'm certain it will be operable by a control switch or the like. So you'll need an object infused with magma power. Fortunately for you, we know of one. Wonderful, what is it? When the mountain rock awakens. Oh. Yes, when the rock awakens? When the great bird is defeated, a shard of its power will appear. You will know it on sight. That should be all you need to know. Just in time too. I feel a nap coming on. Sleeping? Looks like you really did fall asleep. So is that it? Are we going to try to sneak in a Blitz castle now? Well, yeah! Well, yeah, let's go rescue ourselves a prince! We need to meet up with Sveta too. I'm just not sure how this will all work. I do have one favour to ask of you. The reason Blitz ruins lie dormant is a dangerous legacy that sleeps there. Dangerous? Like a weapon or something? Are you saying that the power is cut it intentionally? I cannot say. What is this favour you spoke of? There is an alchemy dynamo in the ruins. You must not restore power to it. Oh? This ancient machine has found the Blinsk ruins. It's said to be dangerous, but is not currently functioning. How would we even do that? If I told you, that would bring you one step closer to activating it. So I will not share that secret. Whatever. Why would we even want to turn on some stupid dynamo? We're not turning on, are we, Matthew? I think smile would be the correct answer here. Yeah, I knew that. I was just checking that we're all on the same page here. Excellent. I believe that you will be true to your word. You're developing into a real leader, Matthew. I'm proud of you. You're becoming a better pilot. Shall we sally forth, then? Sally forth! Try to count wish you farewell, but please accept my wish for your safe travels from both of us. Do you want to give me the gin? Well, you impressed the boss lady anyway. So congratulations, you just scored some major help on your quest thingy. And Laurel said something about me getting some experience in the field. What, are you new? I'm joining your merry little band. Come on then, Pewter, join the a million other Earth gin we've got in the waiting. So all on the same scroll? Good. Let's get going. Abwa? Not long now, we'll be able to make a level 8 class. Or a level 4 class, depending on how you look at it. Venus Ginny Pewter joined you, it's set to Amity. Lowell used the spirit of motion as her envoy, sometimes to her regret. Pewter's attack can penetrate strong defenses with molten metal. It's an interesting power you have there, right. Well, let's go this way. I wonder if this is going to create some kind of shortcut back? I mean, there's definitely more than one way to get out of here, after all. There's an apple. There's something in there. It's a person! What? There's another tree of wisdom! No, that's a person. Tree of what -dom? I shouldn't even be here! I was hired as a guard by some merchants. I was just climbing the tree to get some of that fruit when I slipped and fell in here! I'm glad to see someone, but I don't know if you can help me. Is there someone else you can send? How would I work on getting you out of here? Well, I'll take the apple in the meantime. I could flood you out, maybe. Wait, do I have a synergy to get that? A grip? You think that'll do it? My apple. Oh, I could just grow fit. Why am I trying to flood him out? I don't even know. Let's rescue this poor guy. 
You can get out now. We have ourselves a destination. Hey, where'd all these come from? I'm sure these vines weren't here a minute ago. I should go fast around here. I'm so glad you came. I was going to be stuck in here forever. Oh, hey, take this. Just my way of saying thanks. Okay, we got a U bow and gave it to Amity. Is that an artifact? It might be, you know. Well, I don't mind getting some more stuff. Alright, the U bow. It is currently better by a mile than the mystery blade. I imagine it must be some kind of thing. Alright, can't equip, can't equip. You can. And the Grievous Mace is on as well. So that's 30 attack plus for you. And it's a bit more for you. The Mystery Blade goes bye-bye. Amity with the bow now. Let's see how this works out for him. Always come down the wrong path first, after all. You never know what secrets there may be. Right. So we got ourselves an apple too, that's a permanent star, but we'll leave that for the time being. We need to sell some stuff by the look of it, gear. We need to head back to the previous town. Just to get that other gin before we go on. In fact, if that's the case, let's do a little bit of, uh, backtracking. We obviously know that we want to head up that way. But we also have this dream leaf. Which I do wish to use. See, we can't do anything. We can't summon Svetter until we got the rocks. So sap synergy is useless. Right. Next. We've got the dream leaf. We can actually leave through the normal path now. So that's the thing. Where is it we wanted to use the crush? There's two entrances to this place, isn't there? You gonna let me in or not? No? There we go, finally. This is from the other side we have to use it, isn't it? Oh no, it's from this side. Right. Let's, uh, oh, we've already got it bound. We got it bound! Let's make it through to our gin. Two to the squad. Of course, we had to come the other way first of all to move that a little bit. And we now have the Jupiter Ginny Wisp set to Reef. The spirit of lingering fragrances is first met in Sar Town. The Wisp can refresh the mind and heart with invigorating aromas. So, at the moment, there must be some class mess ups here. Oh, well, Sirocco needs to be set. So, what we gotta do is move Pewter for. Coral, I guess. God, your class is a bit weird now, isn't it, Reef? With all that attached to you. Either way, job done. We have our next goodie. Gotta get it when we know about it. Right, so let's head all the way across the way. The border town for now. I imagine this place is opened up. No, you still haven't opened up! We came all this way for rock feathers. Now we can't get through the forest. Sometimes I hate being a merchant. It's bizarre, you walk into the forest and no matter what you do, you wake up and you're back at the entrance. The other day we tried hiding a guard to escort us into the forest, but we still just woke up outside the woods. We uh, haven't seen any sign of our guard though. I still think it turned into a tree. It's the only answer that makes any sense. At any rate, we're done trying our luck in there. We're all about sending mercenaries in for us. By the way, if you guys want to be rich, go in and get us a rock feather. You never worry about money again. Yes, yes, you guys are like natural feather finders, and we're wealthier than we look. Go get it for us! Aha! Now they've been set to work. Well, we sorted out the uh, the problem of your missing man as well, so that's kind of cool. All right, the Mithril Circle there, the Guardian Circlet. Defense plus 25, yeah. It's lower than everything we've got currently. Let's sell that. Kinda need to sell some stuff after all. 
And this is stuff we've replaced over time. I'll keep that, of course. Any other gear that we need to kind of drop a little bit of? I think that was one of them. Let's hang that around for a second, just in case we need any extra agility. Agility's not a bad thing, after all. The Vulcan Axe isn't any good anymore. Also, Sinji Rod by the look of it. Ah, all the same, we could buy it back. We just need some extra inventory space right now. Well, the lure cap's still around, we'll keep the frost wand on us. You never know when we might need something. Oh, we didn't really check what you had to buy now that we've solved your issues. Right, Stormbrand is something we've worn before. Magic rods, yeah. Pretty much everything is on the downscale now, apart from the war gloves. Now these are good. Gloves the boost attack. Who shall wear you? It boosts Karis' defense the most, weirdly enough. Now oh, wait, Karis has still got capacity? What did we not sell? Oh, okay. Right, now that's given over. We'll get those war gloves. We'll put them on you. Of course, they're probably better to put on someone like Matthew. We know that. Let's sell the amulet as well. But all the same, we'll leave that and leave there. Now, it's a bit of a trek to get where we need to be. Border Town is a way, 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 way away. We shouldn't encounter too many enemies on our path. <laughs> if you say it, it will happen. I was thinking they should have enough power though to take out people en masse. Quite easily. And a little bit of extra experience never hurts. We'll have to jog back afterwards. It's not to Blin Square heading by the look of it, it is straight on from Tret and Laurel. The squirrel Fang is not going to live very long. Everyone's powered, you know. Right, through this gap and to Border Town it is. So I wasn't wrong, there was literally an event waiting for us here. It said about sleeping here, didn't it? People who eat dream leaves here in our inn often dream of the days when the border was open. If you haven't come across any dream leaves, be sure to come back and dream of us. That's what they said. Right, how do I use it though for this? I have you decide that now is not the time to use that. Are you sure? Okay. Must be a more definitive place to use it. Why has Matthew just decided no? Can't use it with you, I take it. Well, this looks like the right place. If this lady's mentioning them. But do I have to let some more of the story progress before I can use it? That's another question, isn't it? Ah, you've got a dream leaf! Ah, so you've got to use it actually at the inn. I do wish to use a dream leaf. A nice day will be 70 coins. Sure thing. Let's use the dream leaf. Uh. No, we won't wake up from the dream. We've been transported into a dream version of the realm. Now I was just wondering if there's any, like, stuff in the boxes in Dream World Land. So this is the border town from the past? 
Last night, the wife and I were bickering when our son came in and said something ridiculous. And asked so hard that we forgot that we were fighting about. It's probably a lesson of there of some kind. Is it time to eat yet? Seems like they're just hungry for more. Let's look at probably a more bustling, vibrant version of the town. I'm going to border town with sort of a cultural crossroads between the east and the west. I don't know if I should be leaving the town in this state. Oh, dream fog surrounds us. They say the more you fight, the closer you must be. My sister and I are really close. So positions of people to block us from certain directions. And going into certain buildings by the look of it. Carts and the whatnot, all blocking us too. I'm gonna board a town, you're coming in from Morgau, right? Head to Billimin next. Sure, I wish. We're fighting Clayton. Clayton. Well, that said, let us improve this. Check what's in here, a summoning tablet. If I can just press A on it. Go on, you know you want to. No, yeah, there we go. And so beamed into our heads. It's a summon Horus. Summon Horus, you need the following gin on standby. Free Venus and two Mars. Let's plop them on right now. I'll just switch them for no reason. And get ready for some summoning, eh? Alright, so I guess it's just to leave the town or leave the dream in some respects here. Can I leave by going like that? Yes, I can. You get some good rest? Great, take care now. Thank you for the dream. That was very handy. Another summon is ours. Thanks for just talking to people in towns and then hearing a weird little bit of conversation, eh? Right, so let's go back to Tret's Tree. And move on from there. Didn't really take us that long, to be honest. Right, a mauler has appeared. You know what time it is. Might not even kill it in one go. But here comes the beast that sunders darkness. Are you ready? Garrus is defending. Tyrell is defending. Here comes Aurus. Summoning screen. Now when do I click back? Something's not quite right with the summoning screen! Well, something ended up off, that's for sure. But we get our experience and be happy with that. Right then, on as we go. I can fix that in post. You'll never notice. So we move along. Right. Oh, now I'm going way past. Yeah, I'm going way past where I need to be. Essentially, it's just a weird interaction with my recording program, the 3DS capture. And the fact that it's a DS game being played on a 3DS. while also doing a series of a 3DS game. Or 3DS remake. Right, Kalima Village it is! Just the top screen ended up a bit too small, but you didn't notice a thing, so I don't know why I'm talking about it. I feel like you've been missing something if you don't know my mess ups too. Right, Kalima Forest it is! Let's get across, or get past anyway. Oh, we still gotta follow the correct route. Can you have like, given us a shortcut through by now? Rather than us having to memorize the correct way. It'd be nice if they gave us a shortcut back to that place, wouldn't it? We saved Mr. Guy, so he's happy. Oh, down we go. Yep, there we go. Right. 
Right. Really wasn't that much of a journey back and forth. And we got goodies for it, so all the better. So we reached Kalima Junction. Right, to West Belinsk, Talon Peak. So you were going to Belinsk? Who? What? Hello? Ah! Did you send all the magicians back to Belinsk? No, we didn't. We couldn't. It doesn't appear so. How do you know about that? Are you following us? That's not important now. Your goal is the mountain rock. Don't tell us what our goals are. Wait a moment. Is that what I think it is? It has to be, right? That glove! Where did you get that? The sweater gave it to us. It's the slap glove. Yeah, I, I get that. The slap glove! This glove creates the same effects as slap synergy unique to Beastmen. Even those without synergy powers can use this treasure in Morgul. Anyone can use it. But you're not adept. Do you even know how to use it? Are you calling us stupid? Now, now, let's not get upset. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement of some sort. Are you suggesting we all team up and work together? What a bright young lady you are! Exactly! How is it you know so much about the Mountain Rock and the Slap Club? We may have overheard a conversation or two with some talking trees. Until you propose, you're offering the Slap Club. In exchange for what? We want your help sneaking into Belinsk Castle. You were going anyway, right? Your plan to sneak in and rescue the champ and pirate? We could just go with you. No figures. Come on, Hosan. We're leaving. Don't be so certain, young one. No, wait. What are you doing, Karis? Something's bothering me. I think this is actually what Sveta wanted to happen. And I think we have to play along. Karis, what are you talking about? Don't you get it? After the Tepe ruins, she left us so suddenly. Remember when we told her about the mountain rock? She acted differently after that. And the slap glove. Tread told us it was in Belinsk. A treasure of the Fang tribe. So Sveta gave it to you. She must be pretty important in the Fang tribe, right? I, I wouldn't know. Really? I bet you do. I have heard her called the White Deer. She is part of the Morgal royal family. Kazar Mal clan. Kazar Moral. It looks like Kazar, but... Kazar Moral. Okay. She is sister to King Volacek. She told us you would pass through here to reach the rock, so we've been waiting for you. She lends the slap gloves so you would help us break into Belinsk. Beyond the slap glove, can you offer any sort of help with our entry into Belinsk? We have some soldiers, but they're still too injured to be of any help. Not exactly an equal partnership. You two in a glove with a five versus our synergy? We need slap synergy or that glove. Looks like Sveta gets away. Ha <laughs> ha! Guess we're stuck doing whatever Sveta or whatever her name is once. So it's decided then? It kind of is. Good. Let's get started then. Right, so Matthew gave the slap glove to Daryl. Any adept can use the slap glove. Any adept? Yes, it's them adepts. Them adepts doing their adepty things. Right, it was given to Tyrrell. He already has a fair amount of synergy on him. Well, it seems like a wind power to me. Who knows what I might need the slap glove for in some senses. Well, there's multiple areas here. What can I do with any of them? First of all, it seems I need to make it close enough so that I can crush that block over there. And let the logs go on through. That's fine by me. There's a gin here right here. Hello! I don't mind just random gin joining again. Right, the Mercury Genie Teardrop has joined you. It's set to Matthew. Teardrop, the spirit embodies tears shed in grief and is encountered in Kalima Junction. Teardrop's own tears can bring people back from the brink of death. Many anti-KO Jin at this point in time. 
That's for sure. Well, let's make our leader. The superpower. As he's going to level up. From Lord to Slayer. Does he gain any more synergy? No. Well, there we go. He is buff as anything now. Due to default classes. Right, so Cleaver Junction had one thing there. The question is, does it have anything else? Well, I guess we'll find out. Next episode of Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Well, we've saved the forest, or more to the point, we saved it last time. The last, last time. But we managed to navigate through it, get ourselves three more gin, a new summon in Horez, and the slap glove. Progress! Progress. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.